grand home, what, what do you say? What, what has to be yeah, in the stimulus? I think it has to be a broad-based economic recovery package. I mean, first of all, you have to make sure that we don't do further harm, and that's why making sure, for example, that three million people don't lose their jobs mm -hmm. with the auto industry and, and the related industries is very important. But in addition to that, um, the governors of the states are really focused on what is it that's going to put people to work right now. So we have, I mean, for example, in Michigan, we've got over 800 projects that have all been engineered. When I say projects, I mean roads, bridges, et cetera, things where dirt will fly, and they're just sitting on the shelves because we have had no funding to be able to, to put those, you know, put shovels in the ground. Mm -hmm. This will enable people to get to work, but to be put to work. But it's also the count, what is known as counter-cyclical measures, meaning when times are tough, you need safety net the safety net more and so we have less money but we have more need for people on health care for people on unemployment etc so you have to make sure you do both things you fund the counter cyclical things so that you keep people from being hurt and right. you also fund this ability to get them to work and I think Eric is right on the money make sure that the money is going towards something that will have the long-term benefit of transforming the economy particularly in reducing our dependence on uh, fossil fuels. But, but Carly Fiorina, the governor, the, governor, the governor has plants in her state which could be converted to right. building batteries and battery systems for automobiles. They're empty right now. Let's use them. 